Today we are up to something very different than normal. I've got a very limited amount of gear and I'm going to be doing a float dive. I just finished hiking through the woods and that took a while, but now we're in the river and I'm going to try to cover as much ground as possible. This buoy is going to hold my food, my keys, my phone, my water. And if we get lucky, there could be something incredible out here. The only way to find out is to get ready and get underwater. That is not bad for a couple minutes. That's a huge rework of Rick Lattice in the middle. Broken chonker of a meg. Whale ear bone. I gotta get back in there. So the very first spot I checked today, right in front of me, was loaded with huge whale vertebrae. I couldn't hold my breath long enough to pick them up, but I know that right in there, there's some big ones. And we'll go back and grab them. I might need to figure out different gear because I am pretty heavy and this is a long stretch of river and it's pretty remote, but we'll get those and we'll figure this out. So as you guys can see, these things were absolutely huge. In fact, these four vertebrae are the largest whale vertebrae I have ever found in any river system in the eastern United States. And the cool thing about them is based on where we found them all closely associated with each other, I think that these four vertebrae came from the exact same whale. You do not find whale vertebrae that big that often, but we did manage to recover them. And I'm going to take all of you back to the river because this is not nearly the coolest stuff that we found on this hunt. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Oh, what was that? <laughs> We have been fossil hunting all day today, jumping over logs, crawling on the river bottom, seeing snakes, turtles, you name it. And I don't know what it is, but we haven't found any formation since that first really good bend we got on to start the day. But I'm not giving up, and I've got a lot more river to cover before I can possibly get out of here, so we'll see. I have been floating down this river for seven hours, and for the first time since the first location we checked today, I have found an exposure loaded with whale bone. And where there's whale bones, there might be megalodon teeth. So it's actually starting to get pretty dark. Only have maybe an hour, hour and a half left. And I still got another mile or so before I can get out of here. But I'm gonna check it. And if I have to get out of here at dark, that's what's gonna happen. This is absolutely nuts. I think it's five and a half inches. It looks like it's close to six. I, I, I've swam for miles today and this is literally only the second spot with any fossils and it had a tooth like that. 
an absolute trip maker. Like, it's probably red under there. I gotta clean that up when I get back to the car. I've got like 50 more feet and there might be another one in there, but that's probably asking for too much. That is crazy. That is so crazy. Well, we did manage to find a twin. It's not in as nice condition as the original, but it's definitely worth keeping. That is still a huge tooth. It's crazy to think that these giant megalodon sharks were out here swimming and eating at one point. And I cannot believe how lucky I was to find this tooth right here. That is an absolute trip maker. But it's getting dark and I need to get out of here and once I do, I'll show you what these teeth look like cleaned up. I bet they're gonna be really pretty. We had already found these two incredible megalodon teeth, but at the end of the day, as it was getting really, really dark outside, I saw a final exposure of Miocene formation and I could not get out of the river without checking it. So we took a beeline straight into the river and this incredible fossil was laying right there. I just was checking to see if there was formation and look at that tooth. That's a happy accident. So it definitely got dark out there and we got back to the car at 10 and it's 4.30 in the morning and I cannot get back to sleep because I think I'm gonna go back out there but I'm gonna float down the river. I really think there's more out there and if there is, that'd be really cool to see what we can find. It was 5 a.m. just a second ago it's 11.30, it took forever to get out here. I think somewhere in there is something incredible. There's definitely Miocene formation. I passed trying to get out of here, but I did not have time to check it. And if it's anything like that last bend we got on, we might get something really good today. I can see some formation. We're getting close to where it's gonna get good, I think. It's a beater, but it's only in like two feet of water, which is really cool. Let's show you this one. That's funny. Super beat up and reworked though. Oh well. I'm starting to find whale bone and that's really exciting to me because that means that we have a lot longer of a stretch than I expected where there could potentially be a megalodon tooth.
Good thing I came back. Oh my gosh, it was just in the clay over there. Like close to the bank, but still five feet, six feet deep. That I missed last time. I cannot believe it. It's another five and a half inch tooth. Um, okay, so to say that was unexpected is gonna be an understatement. Dang, how did I miss this thing yesterday? This was four feet up on a little small clay bank that I just did not check. It wasn't in the main channel, but I knew today I needed to check it because there was a potential, a small potential, there was a small potential that something like this would show up, and boy, did I get lucky. I've got, I'm calling it early today. I'm going to bring this over to my other teeth, and let's get a little video of them all together. It has been a day since we managed to crawl the river. We are now at my brother and his wife Sharice's home in Savannah, Georgia, and I've got the three biggest teeth that we found on this trip right here in this case. And I thought it'd be really fun to catch their live reaction to these crazy fossils. Hello. Hello. I got a package. You guys gotta check out what's in here. Are you ready? Are you ready? No. Open it up, Sharice. Don't be shy. What is this? Alright. You got it. What is this? Open it. Ba -ba! Wow. Whoa. Those are big, no. right? Massive. What on? In great shape, too. Yeah, yeah, they're in really good shape. They're babies. That's a big shark tooth. These are all late Miocene, so probably about five to eight million years old. And that's a big shark. That's the smallest one that I found that was whole, and that's 4.8, <laughs> I think. And both of these big ones are over five and a half inches. So, full grown legs. Which yeah. one do you like the best? Yeah, I like this one a little bit. You like that one? That one like cleaned up the enamel. I haven't cleaned this one yet. No, that's why. Because I, I like the colors in this one. Yeah, it's pretty. It's a big tooth. Do you have a caliper? Yeah. Let's measure it. You guys know, but they don't know what I went through to find these teeth. I literally, I've got poison <laughs> ivy. I've got like friction burns. I've got like bug bites. I've got blisters. <laughs> And I am so sore, but it was totally worth it. We're gonna measure these teeth, and after we do that, I can't, I'm gonna, I need to go to sleep or something. What we got, what we got, what we got, what we got? 5.5. 5.51? 4.8. 5 5.5 again. A little bigger, 5.5. I thought this one was bigger. Did you measure on the, the shorter side or the long side? No, I did the other That's, side. This is the short side. That one's 5.53, 4.8, and this one is 5.5. Those are some and big teeth. Those are massive teeth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming on this journey. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, share, subscribe. And as always, keep on digging science.